Oops, good morning, everybody. Looking live over uh, downtown Los Angeles, we're looking at a mostly clear sky to start off the day, and it's cool out there. Bundle up as you're uh, getting up and getting ready to maybe head to work this morning. Uh, temperatures in the upper 40s from downtown Los Angeles into Van Nuys, the San Fernando Valley, and let's go to Ventura County. Camarillo currently 42 degrees. Big Bear, nice chilly 23, and we are feeling 51 degrees for the city of Santa Ana. So we are dry today. This is the takeaway. We will actually have temperatures rise into the upper 60s to lower 70s this afternoon. Big changes in store as we head into tomorrow. I am tracking a warmer system, an atmospheric river, so a plume of moisture is going to push into the state of California, and we are going to get in on some of that action, and I am going to time it out for you hour by hour. So as we head into tonight, starting to see some rain develop over the central coast and into Santa Barbara. Now watch as that rain moves over Ventura County and moves into Los Angeles as we head right in time for your morning commute tomorrow here 745. We are seeing mostly light rain, some pockets of more moderate rainfall uh, as we head through the morning hours and that rain will continue to move across Orange County and portions of the Inland Empire through the morning hours and into the afternoon. So we will see some breaks in the rain, but of course still showers through Friday night and into early Saturday. Now for the rest of Saturday, we are expected to stay dry into Sunday and Monday, and then we have more rain possible as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. But let's just talk about this system again. This is going to have a, a bigger impact on central and northern California already flood watches in place from Bakersfield to Fresno all the way up through San Francisco and even across uh, uh, Redding all the way up into northern California and even portions of Nevada. So we are looking at the potential for flooding. This is a warmer system that we are dealing with. So snow levels much higher and you might remember the past few storms have been very cold. So we've seen lots of snow, of course, that could create flooding issues up in the mountain communities. But locally, again, rainfall rates light to moderate snow. Uh, really not talking about snow here again because snow levels are so high. Wind wise, we'll have some wind advisories going into effect across the mountains and deserts. And then again, the flooding potential is low, but of course still some flooding possible up in the mountain communities because of all of the snow that we've seen over the past few weeks. So quite an active seven day forecast here because we're dry today. Temperatures in the upper 60s. Temperatures drop tomorrow. We will see areas of rain developing Friday into early Saturday. Otherwise, we are going to be dry for the second half of the weekend and the start of next week. Clouds thicken up on Monday, more rain possible Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And again, another warmer system, an atmospheric river that could be bringing us uh, some more rainfall. So along the coastline today, about 63 degrees, temperatures in the upper 50s heading into Friday. So look for the wet weather to develop Friday into early Saturday and then dry Sunday into Monday. So the good news is some of your weekend is salvageable if you're hoping to get outside up in the mountains. Again, it is mostly rain, especially Friday into early Saturday, a break in the wet weather Sunday, Monday, and then rain snow possible by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.